Now trees are getting depleted with each passing day, with each passing year, especially by the human population, which keeps on increasing. Like in Uganda, we add on about 1 million people each year. There is a lot that these people do to the trees. But there is even a greater danger to the trees, that of the pests. Take an example of the eucalyptus trees. They are affected by small wasps. Grace Vazanya, the technical person in agroforestry at Mukono Zono Agricultural Research and Development Institute, and Anaru, has been involved in research of trees, and the wasps are intriguing to him. Uh, lays its eggs in the, the leaves and the, the, the stalks. So they swell and they end, they dry up. So when they dry, up, they dry up, automatically the tree dies because the leaves which make food for the, the tree. Known scientifically as Leptosaib inversa, they breed in the grass and so control has to start with weeding or spraying for their size makes them hard to see. Very tiny. I don't know if we shall get a chance of looking at it. It's very tiny. But when they attack, eh? Yeah, you will like, see the leaves. Which quantity do they come? Ah, they are, they are in millions. What? Something which can destroy uh, hectares and hectares, those are in millions. They, 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 yeah, they multiply in the grass. Is it there where they can be sprayed? Uh, they are hard to see. So when you are spreading, I mean spraying the grass, you also kill them as you spray the grass. Maybe those in there, yeah? because they have nowhere to breed, then they also die. They are now training the farmers to control them. Research on them is ongoing at the Forestry Resources Researchers Institute at Kabembe in Chifu. And so far, success is yet to be recorded. These trees were at the beginning, when they were about two years, they had that uh, attack. But now they are clean because they have managed to control them by keeping the grass very low and sometimes we have been applying clean weeding. When the breeding environment is destroyed, they have nowhere to multiply from. In Uganda, they are widespread and they are specifically known to attack the eucalyptus trees, grown widely. When you move around the places, there are people who are not yet uh, knowledgeable about it. They are there, even the nurseries. When you visit a nursery, look at the leaves. If you see swelling like this, no, that is the fly. Oh, mm. So what you do, you buy now the small plant from the nursery, you transfer the, 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 the wasp to your planting site, and it multiply from there. The wasp spreads through the movement of eucalypt seedlings because the adults are too small to fly long distances. The wasp is found mainly in eucalypt growing countries, including Australia, Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, India and New Zealand, and in Africa it is found mainly in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania and South Africa. It has been in Uganda for 12 years now. The attack takes place within one to two weeks of the bird breakout, so growers have to watch out for this period. Some trees like Arukalia, Kaningamai, are resistant to the wasps, but not the termites. They attack these ones no, very rarely. And most when they are a bit young. Mm -hmm. But when they are big as this, they don't generally attack them. But with the eucalyptus, they can even attack it even if it is big. The termites also begin feasting on the trees right from the bottom. By the time you notice, you see the trees withering. By the time you go to shake, the roots already damage it. It is drying. They don't limit growth, they just destroy. They destroy. To control, ant hills have to be destroyed immediately, as well as the affected tree. The Grevaria robusta tree, a fast-growing tree, is also decimated by termites. They have given farmers, but uh, we will find that a farmer you gave uh, maybe 20 is having, maybe one is surviving, and not uh, killed by anything but termites. In some trees, spiders nestle within, but they are no danger. Aside from the pests, the other danger that depletes trees so fast are the fires. We have not managed the undergrowth, so when it is dry like this, fire can come from outside and it can burn your trees. Some trees are a waiver resistant to the termites like the Indian teak 
and the African teak, commonly known as muvule tree in Luganda. Like the eucalyptus, however, the muvule tree, if planted in bad environs, can easily be attacked by flies similar to the wasps. It lays its eggs there. Then this kind of thing after the larvae is produced, starts eating there. And this one, the, the cells swell, making it a habitat. So when it matures, it makes an opening, it comes out. It also goes for the rampage. Because the, the leaves now affected, the branches die. The slow pace at which reforestation is taking place in Uganda, a country that loses at least 2% of its cover each year, is worrying to foresters. It is not helped by the pests that slow the growth or totally destroy the trees. Florence Nalimba, NTV, Ecotalk.